This is a blue Pacific Juniper and I've already trimmed um, really the base of this right here and just did a real light clipping on the bottom and then all the way around this root structure so that you can see it. Um, what I also did is I lightly trimmed the branches coming or this branch coming down and lightly on this one here. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm loosening up all the soil that's in here and keeping the root structure. And what I'm doing is just really putting my fingers in there and real lightly separating the soil from the root structure. And this one's pretty healthy, it's packed um, with roots. And I don't wanna pull them out, I wanna leave them there as much as possible. And then really can use, and really if you dig a plant up from the garden, it's gonna grow in that soil. You know, plants are gonna grow in whatever mud that they're in. So um, I'm not gonna reuse this mud, but I've got a real nice compost that <clears throat> this plant's gonna love. All right, thank you, see you in a bit. All right, well, I said I was gonna clean up my mess and well, that didn't happen, but I'm just gonna push it kind of all over here. What I did is I put this juniper um, into the pot here and, you know, the, I guess I could pull it out and show you guys. Really, it's just, I'll pull it out and repot it, it don't matter. All the roots I cleaned out, you can see them. And then I left enough, you gotta take some out, but from here, you can just take your juniper and put it into your pot kind of like this and then what you're going to do is you're going to have to take soil for this and then you're going to have to push down real lightly on the juniper and then what you're going to do is take soil and what I'm doing is a compost and like I said earlier, I know there's different mixes in it, and I talked to a, um, an individual regarding you know, the soil and whatever bonsai soil you want to put it in, whatever. Um, you take a plant out of mud and it's growing, it's going to grow in mud. Um, this plant's going to be real healthy in this pot. You can kind of see it right here. Like I said, obviously I clipped it and I'm trying to make it as level as possible with the root and I kind of like it just kind of like this. And it's really whatever you want to do. You know, it's, it's, it's your shape and your mind of how you want to grow your, your bonsai. And I'm going to do some more clipping, but for the, a big part of this is done. I may put a little bit more soil in it and I think it looks pretty good as it is like this. Yeah, that looks real good. It's nice and flat and that's really what you want on the base of it. I'm sure you can make a mound coming up but for me I like the visual of this just being flat with the pot then you're just gonna have to figure out you know what you want to do with it you can trim all of it or trim whatever you want but it's the design that you have in mind all right Okay, this is pretty much done at this point, and I don't know if you guys can see it. It's just, um, it's really cool, these bonsais, and like I said, this is a Blue Pacific um, Juniper bonsai, and they're a lot of fun to do, and they're really easy. Um, like I said, you know, the pot's going to be your most expensive. I think this one was 
$12.99. Um, and it's a bonsai pot, um, and it's got a hole in the bottom for drainage. And, you know, really on watering for these, they like to be misted. So you never pour water into um, the actual pot. You just do a, a nice little misting all the way around it. And, you know, you're going to have a really happy uh, little bonsai. This is the back of it. Um, maybe needs a little bit of clipping, but for the most part, that's going to be facing the back. And this will be facing the front. All right, cool, easy uh, bonsai planting. And hope you guys have fun and uh, get back with me. I think I'm going to do a whole bunch of these. Bye.